This video goes over the process of finding a sample average and a sample standard deviation for a list of values. I'm going to show you how to do this in an 83 and 84 and in an 89 calculator, as well as GeoGebra. So this is a two-step process. The first step is you're going to type in all of your values into your list. Second step is you're going to go into calculate, wherever that is in your calculator, and you're going to choose the option for one variable statistics. TI-89, I'm going apps, and then stat list editor, so I have a spot to type in my data. And I'm working with a pretty small data set, 2, 7, 9, and 12 here. I want to calculate something, so up at the top I see the option for F4 for calculate. I'm going to choose that. My values, uh, one var stats, these live in list one. It doesn't say list one right now. So to have my list show up, I'm going to go into this variable link thing. Notice how that's in blue. So I'm going to hit blue variable link, and I'm going to choose the list where I've typed in the information in list one. And I'm going to leave everything else alone. Frequency as one, category list blank. And I'm going to hit enter and enter again. This gives me an average. I already have everything I want, 7.5. And it gives me a sample standard deviation of 4.203. If this was the entire population, there's my sigma. Scrolling down, this also gives me the minimum, Q1, the medium, and the maximum. So in other words, this gives me the five number summary the min, Q1, median, Q3, and maximum are the numbers that go into my five number summary. So an average of 7.5, a standard deviation of 4.203. Great, let me show you how to do this in your TI-83 and 84 now. So I need to type in my values, so I'm going stat and edit. If you have values typed into your calculator, you can always go up to the name of the list and hit clear and it will clear the list for you. So I had some stuff here inside of my list one and list two. I just want to clean that up first. Inside a list, I'm typing in two, seven, nine, and 12. I hit enter in between, and I make sure that I'm inside of the list when I'm typing in values. So underneath the title, be careful about that. I want to calculate a whole bunch of information for this, so I'm going to go to stat. And I want to choose this option for calculate. So I hit the over arrow to go there. And then I select one variable statistics. On the TI-89, it's going to take you right to your home screen. And you just have to enter again. And you're immediately done and good to go. On the TI-84, I can input what list I think it is in. And then I go to calculate. And it'll give me that same information. I see my X bar, my S. And I see that five number summary if that's something that I'm currently looking for. In GeoGebra, similar process, I need to type in my data. I'll do that inside of the spreadsheet option. So let me start with a clean GeoGebra window, and I'll show you those steps. So I'm going to go into GeoGebra. I'm going to choose the option that says Spreadsheet on the right side. And I'm going to type in all of my data. So I had 2, 7, 9, and 12. After I type in the data, I select it, and I hit the thing that looks like a histogram. I choose the option for one variable analysis. This gives me a histogram. Now, just as a note, I can go to this drop-down menu, and I can actually choose a whole bunch of other graphs. So if I wanted a box plot or a dot plot or a stem and leaf, that's where I would find this stuff. But I'm interested in the summary of statistics, so I'm going to click this thing that looks like an E with an X. That's sigma X. And that's going to give me the summary right now. My average or my mean is 7.5. My standard deviation is 4.203. And I have my five number summary down there at the bottom. So this is how I use technology to find my average and standard deviation. These are things I might need to know while I'm doing a longer calculation involving comparing sample averages or something like ANOVA. 